Hello and welcome to another episode of AWS Cloud Bytes Architecture Series. I'm your host Bhavesh Kumar. Friends, if you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for future updates. Also comment on topics you want me to cover. Today we will discuss how to build a fan out pattern using AWS. What we will cover today. What is a fan out messaging pattern? When to use it? Fan out using Simple Notification Service or SNS and we'll do a wrap up. What is fan out messaging pattern? According to Wikipedia, in message oriented middleware solutions, fan out is a messaging pattern used to model an information exchange that implies the delivery or spreading of a message to one or multiple destinations possibly in parallel and not halting the process that executes the messaging to wait for any response to that message. And I have drawn this picture to just give you a real life example. You can see this box saying news agency. News agency is publishing news in different languages on three different channels. Then you have a broadcaster of the news. The broadcaster is streaming the news in each language to a given channel. And then you have channel one that is an English channel. Channel two is a French channel. Channel three is Hindi. Now the broadcaster, when he broadcasts, he is broadcasting all three channels. On the right side, you can see subscribers. So there is a number one subscriber over here. This subscriber is subscribing or listening to channel one. So what news he's going to get? He's going to get English news because that is what the message is. Then you have second subscriber here which is listening to channel two and it is going to listen to a French news. Similarly, third subscriber is listening to channel one and is going to again subscribe to an English news. You have another subscriber with channel three as its frequency. This subscriber is listening to a Hindi news and so on, all these subscribers. So the basic idea is that the news is subscribed irrespective of who the subscriber is. The publisher is publishing news in all three languages. It's up to the subscriber what news they want to listen to. They will tune in to that particular frequency, that radio frequency to listen to whatever news they want to listen. And that is what fan out is all about. You have multiple subscribers listening to same channel primarily. Channel one, you have three subscribers. Let's look into when to use it. So I have a picture from AWS website and this picture tells you all about publisher subscriber. Fan out can be considered each time there is a long running integration required which requires a message to be transported or sent to one or more subsystems. You can see on the left side there are encoders. They are sending this information or uploading this information to CloudFront which is dropped in S3 and there is a topic Whenever there is an S3 file dropped, this topic gets a message. This topic is subscribed by different lambdas like high quality copy, 480 transcoding for this video, whatever the video was uploaded, 360 transcode, audio only, thumbnail creation, QoS analytics. All these lambdas, they're subscribing to the same message, which is triggered based on the file, a video file being dropped here. And they are listening to it and they can start parallel processing as soon as there's a file drop over here. And these lambdas, once processing is done, can further send it to subsystem. So the idea over here is you are doing a fan out over here, looking at the picture also you can understand. One message is sent to multiple consumers or multiple subscribers of this topic. Whenever you need a fan out or pattern where you have to send the same message to multiple subscribers or multiple copies of those are required for the same message, you can use a pattern like this. Let's look at another example. This is a diagram that I have picked from AWS website. The left side is a publisher. The publisher publishes the message. The publisher is sending this message to an SNS. Now SNS has one or more topics. You can perform filtering and there is a dead letter queue. On the right side, you can see all the consumers. If publisher sends a message, it can be anything. It can be a queue, it can be a microservice or any other AWS service. Now on the right side, you can see you have Lambda, AWS Lambda, you have a queue, SQS, you have a Kinesis data firehose, an HTTP, HTTPS, so that's full service, you, you have an email. 
what happens is these topics can be subscribed by any of these listeners over here so they can subscribe to the topic anytime there is a new message coming into the topic a lambda can be triggered Q can subscribe to the topic and get the message in the queue this is how fan out works using SNS in AWS let me give you an example now this is an example hypothetical example of a retail or a, a banking solution so there are publisher subscriber the benefit of having a publisher subscriber is that it's straightforward there is a publisher and there are subscribers there is a message in and the message out that happens publisher subscriber pattern is asynchronous there is no blocking a lock between sender and the receiver the sender sends the message to the broker and then moves on to a different task altogether the receiver accepts a message as per its convenience so there can be a queue and receiver can start receiving messages in the queue but will process when he likes to message in a pub sub pattern tend to be discrete containing all the information that a process needs to act upon so if you are sending a message publisher is publishing a message that message can be acted upon fan out is similar to pub sub over here the interesting thing is that the the party that subscribes or binds to the message is primarily looking for a topic in this case in a typical pub sub interested parties will bind or subscribe to a given topic and then the message is sent to the topic all the subscribers will receive a copy and the message is said to be fanned out so an example over here is you have this publisher it's sending a message to this sns now the message can be open an account or some kind of report or some kind of a deposit a money deposit depending upon the message this topic will receive a message if it is a open account topic and the message is sent to this open account topic there is a subscriber in this case the subscriber is the queue over here account opening queue now account opening queue is going to pick this message and put it in the queue because it is subscribing to the topic a lambda is listening to this queue anytime there is a message lambda will start processing the message and push forward to any any destination that this message has to go to after the processing has been done you can also see another topic over here and you will see that there are two different queues now account report if required uh, there is a there's a typo here there should be a different report the idea was to show different queues for different kind of reports so this can be your tax report and this can be your statement monthly statement so if the message is to get a tax report yearly tax report this message will go to this queue and there is a processing while everybody over here will get this message so you can have multiple subscriber of this queue but you can put a filtering around this what kind of message you want to subscribe to so over here you can see there's a tax report there is another processor over here okay i have modified the picture adding a sqs transaction report queue rather than two account tax reporting queues which was the typo let's try to do a wrap up we understand there are two things both of them are publisher subscriber model the pub sub model uh, the publisher subscriber pattern is one in which a publisher sends a message to a topic on a message broker the subscriber binds to the topic and receives message from this topic in an asynchronous manner so there is no waiting no dependency as such and it is good scalable way to have no dependencies between sub components or your components of your architecture the next one is fan out fan out is like pub sub but in this like the interesting party binds to a topic the difference in a fan out versus a typical pub sub is that interesting party party will subscribe to a given topic and there can be more than one subscribers to a given topic each subscriber will receive a copy of the message sent to a topic hope that helps with this this is the end of the episode thank you for watching if you like the video please like subscribe share and press the notification bell icon for future updates this is your host bhavesh kumar signing off thank you so much bye bye